of over 20 different universities across the country, students, staff coming out in solidarity with Palestine. Over 87 years, Palestinians have been resisting the occupation of their lands, which started with the British mandate. And with the 1936 Palestinian revolt, they showed the British that they would not be colonized and they would not be occupied. And this movement continues today with you here. Cease fire now! Cease fire now! We had a rally um, on the 9th of October and by the 12th five of our students were suspended uh, for no legitimate reason. Um, the, the university has been trying to suppress any freedom of speech on Palestine, trying to suppress our activism, but we're here to tell them that they will never silence us. We're working to do all we can to reinstate our students, and we'll always say free Palestine until Palestine is liberated. and decolonization has had no problem suspending students or giving out warnings and even silencing academics. There is a very chilling, very intense restriction on freedom of speech on this campus. We've seen professors have their posters taken down supporting us students. Somebody wanted to report on fellow students for simply waving a Palestinian flag. But the most important thing is to not allow the suspended students to miss the entire term for political repression. Every department at SOAS is currently working on an internal statement because our professors have confided in us that in order to have a mandate, we need to push it through our departments. We need every single group on campus to be submitting these kinds of statements because when we escalate, they can't tell us that we didn't try to do it their way. Israel has deliberately destroyed all universities in Gaza. Israel has killed teachers and students, over 430 of which are higher education students and employees. Over 600,000 students in Gaza have been deprived of access to education since the beginning of the Israeli bombardment. So we must stand in solidarity with Palestinian educators and students amidst this onslaught. And one of the ways that we can do this is to support the Palestinian call for the academic and cultural boycott of Israel. This university has ties with Haifa University, a university that is not only built on stolen Palestinian land, but an Israeli university that doesn't even allow the Palestinian flag on campus. We should call on SOAS to sever its partnership with Haifa University, which is the Israeli university that has taken the most action against Palestinian students. Recently, six Palestinian students were arrested and detained merely for social media posts. Haifa University also secured a tender to organize higher education courses for the Israeli army and provide specific programs designed for military officers. The Zionist entity have been torturing, killing, and ethnically cleansing Palestinians while the UN, Western, and Arab regimes sit idly by. It begins all the way back in 1917 with the British Mandate on Palestine and the Balfour Declaration. The Zionist entity claims that a Jewish person in any country who has not even set foot in occupied Palestine has more rights than a Palestinian who was born there and lived there their entire life. This is settler colonialism, apartheid, and ethnic cleansing. A 
at its highest form. One of the innocent lives I would like to mention was a beloved KCL and SOAS community member from Gaza, Dr. Maisara al Rayas. He was martyred recently by the Zionist forces who bombed his family home in Gaza. May he rest in power and power to all our martyrs. We are all Palestinians. We are all Palestinians.